Hi folks. After yesterday's experiment, I've been contemplating why the PVA and uh, alcohol thin film perform so much better than the PVA and water thin film. And I think I have the solution to that. And uh, it, it has to do with oxygen penetration. When they make an alder filter, they take a uh, polymer and they mix it with a a volatile uh, solvent that evaporates at a lower temperature and so and that's basically what we've got here we've got our PVA polymer and we've got an alcohol solvent in there that evaporates at a low temperature and that leaves a little when it evaporates out of the polymer it leaves little pores in there and then they use that to filter out uh, particles and stuff in, in, uh, in water filtration systems in, in our case it's to let oxygen through the membrane so that it can oxidize the zinc here and provide uh, power for the cell because I believe this is an air battery. We have evidence that it's used in oxygen. I've suffocated the uh, cell twice and revived it both times by opening up the bag and letting air getting, get back into it. And I've drowned the cell by submerging it in a glass of water and that killed it and I took it out of the water and it revived. The problem is getting the oxygen into the cell and to the plate. Creating a membrane that has holes in it, more holes in it, we're getting more oxygen to the plate. So what I'm going to do is build uh, a new battery and I'm going to use the, uh, the felt on this side and uh, coat it in graphite and we should see more, uh, more amps out of it. So we need to think of the thin film here is, is a multi-purpose. It contains water, it makes a waterproof barrier around uh, the paper which conserves water in the cell and then it's also used in structuring. The, the cell will use free water if it's available and after the free water is available then it will use the whatever structured water is in the, is in the uh, films. The third f function it would be oxygen penetration and the same thing over here with the felt. Uh, we can use the felt as a macrostructure and which we can uh, put in a microstructure porous carbon and then load all that with graphite. I'll be back as soon as I get some things set up. Alright, I'm back and I'm set up to try to see how much the oxygen makes a difference here. So what I've got is a new membrane that I made. And this one though has got just uh, titanium dioxide, white glue, and uh, alcohol uh, coat on this side. And I gelled it, dipping it into borax. And it was a borax paper to start with. And on this side what I've got is graphite uh, rubbed into the paper. I think that'll help. And what I've got here is a new uh, electrode I made with uh, graph oil and copper as usual but I poked holes in it with a toothpick and now it'll let air get through that okay now this should only produce something like uh, five or six uh, milliamps dampen it back up here alright just lay it across here this new electrode is a little bit longer. Alrighty, now we'll stick our zinc on there. Now we're going to need to flip it over so that the air has good access to it. And we'll just measure it like that. And that should be fine. Alrighty. Now, here's our volts are. 72, oh, I'm dropping, right there, 71, 3 or 4, it's stabilized at, now let's see what kind of amps we get out of that, there we go, 3, 2, 1, ooh, 14, 5, now that's not bad, now let's see what it charges up to, alright, so it's, uh, it's climbing back up, Let's try flipping it. The house has slipping around. Let's flip it back over so it's got a, a more more stable. 
68 2 68 3 all right let's see what we get now and 3 2 1 only 7 9 dried out real fast i guess so let's uh let's dip it back in the water again It's got water. That's pretty good uh, producing cell right there. All right. Now, now let's put some graphite on this. And see what we can boost it up to. All right. Now let's see what we got. Let's give it just a second to uh, charge up. Alright, let's test it there. We'll be at 68. Alright, 0.68. And we have 3, 2, 1. 12 something. Didn't look like it helped it any at all, did it? It was higher than that before we put any uh, extra graphite on it. Alright, let me do something else. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back one more time. I've got another solid state titanium dioxide and uh, PVA painted on the uh, zinc and then the graph oil with the uh, uh, holes going through the uh, graph oil and copper placed on top of it. Nothing else in it. There's no separator. Uh, no added graphite, no added water, anything. So, and we can see our voltage is 1026. And we'll see what kind of amps we get on that. Might surprise us. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 22, 1. Amazing. There it is. And that's <laughs> as simple as it gets now. And that and that one might turn out to be really good. We'll see. Uh, I'll discharge it a few times and find out. Let's see what kind of self charge has gone on. I mean, that's as good as we got with two coats of uh, graphite uh, on the thing before. All right. So uh, let's see where we're at. Oh, we're already back to. 0.96 and it's still climbing pretty fast uh, so that's a that's a good self charge too it looks like that air the air definitely makes a difference I mean we've got minimal things stopping the air from getting through this and into the uh, titanium dioxide and oxidizing that uh, that zinc uh, plate alright we are already still up uh, been less than a minute and we're almost back uh, all the way up so that's a nice uh, self charge all right let's uh, I'm gonna uh, we'll see if it climbs I'll give it a little extra time I'll be back in a couple minutes well we didn't have to wait long it just went a little bit higher and then kind of stopped dead in the tracks all right so we're gonna measure it right there at 1.005 a little bit of a voltage decrease but we were expecting that the pattern is the bolting slowly decreases and the amps go up. Alright, so let's see what our amps are now. 3, 2, 1, 21, something, maybe 21, 0. Alright, I'll be back when it climbs back up again. Alright, we're back for number 3. And this time we've took another voltage decrease. So 
Well, that's where we'll measure it at, 0.99. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1. 17, 1. So we came down again. Alright, I'll be back. We'll measure it there. And it'll probably be about 16 milliamps or so. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Oh, still 17, 3. Or it might turn around and surprise me and go up. I better measure it another couple times here before I add, try to add water to it. I'll be back. Alright, back again. This is number 5. And looks like we stopped uh, losing voltage. And now we're starting to gain it back again. We're at 0.975. And we're going to measure it right there. 0.975. And your amps are 3, 2, 1, 17.5. Alright, so that's starting to go back up a little bit. And 0.975. So maybe it's not drying out so bad after all. It might be just be cycling. Let's see if it come, wants to come apart. All right, I'm back. It's climbing back up. Nice. We're just going to go ahead and uh, test it right there and see what we got. All right. Three, two, one. Ooh, 22.5. Huh. That's interesting. It really took a jump there and after I added the water to it. This is a be an excellent one here to put into a plastic bag, make a, make a fresh one, put it in a plastic bag and and keep the conserve the water to it. I'll be back. All right, I'm back one more time to show you one other thing. Uh, this cell here is an air cell that I made uh, more holes in the in the copper and graphoil and I it's just got uh, titanium dioxide and uh, white um, white glue and alcohol on this one here and I didn't film it in the, in the last experiment because it was so shitty it was like uh, started off at 2.5 milliamps I think and um, so I just set it aside that's been sitting, it's sitting around for a couple of days and uh, so I'm going to show you that it's, uh, it's still working so we're at uh, 0 0.83, 0 0.831, and it's still climbing a little bit. 0 0.833, 0.834. So we're still on the climb there, and our amps are 3, 2, 1, 9, something. So you know, it started off at 2.5, and it's 9 something now so and that's after a couple of days of sitting around well I think it's pretty clear that the biocell is an air battery no matter which metal you use it with and uh, I've ordered some uh, stainless steel mesh that uh, I'm going to uh, run, run some tests with where I could really open up the cell and let a, a lot of uh, oxygen in and uh, I'm also going to work with this uh, this felt here I've actually uh, already got some carbon in this one here, and I've tested it, and, uh, and it works, but it's not very impressive yet. So uh, I'll work with that some more and uh, get a, get that together. Pretty soon I'm going to be putting some uh, highly porous carbon in there, and uh, we'll boost the amps up even some more. I got as soon as I get the structure down, we'll do that. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time.